Hello everybody, this is Mert. Uh, I'm going to start a new series uh, on Minecraft. This is a uh, really basic tutorial just on how to survive. Uh, I know my biggest problem when I started was trying to actually survive one night without dying. So I really didn't know what to do. So this is going to be really basic. Uh, as you can see I have the, the 12, the uh, I'm sorry, the week 7B snapshot. Um, it's still, it's kind of buggy actually when I was playing some things. So it's uh I'm just gonna play through it just for the tutorial. But uh I'm just gonna start a new world though and uh we'll go from there. Uh don't forget to uh subscribe to the channel because the first one hundred subs will be giving a uh, free giveaway. We'll select a winner. Um so don't be afraid to do that. I'm gonna do default. So basically, when you first start out, is you want to get your bearings. You want to make sure you know where you're, what's around you first, like in your direct vicinity, uh, from where you spawn. You don't want to run too far away, uh, because if you do happen to not get situated and get killed, then you really can't really be close to your spawn. So, um, first thing you want to always look for is wood, and uh, I don't see any. I don't see a couple trees over there. The redwood looks like a jungle thing. It's still coming in. Uh, also, if you notice, there's a lot of grass here, so you should go ahead and just go ahead and knock the grass out. And as you see, it gives you seeds. And if you go around and actually get a bunch of seeds up, you can uh, build a farm later. Anyway, that's not important right now. First thing we need to do is uh, get trees to make a crafting table so we can make bigger things so let's go over here so these are the new trees I added in the snapshot uh, they're huge redwood trees so they're, they're massive and you can climb uh, vines now it's not really set well but I usually like to get about 15 uh, stacks of, or blocks of wood first, so I don't have to keep going back and getting things. I hate. Yeah, let's see if I. I see we got some. Uh, pigs over across the water there so that's good it's a good food source main thing on this video is just getting started I say usually 15 I'm probably just gonna grab uh, well, I'll just get 15 Also, uh, please leave comments and uh, let me know what other games you'd like to see because I'm interested in doing Let's Plays. So if anybody can give some ideas or some tips, that would be well appreciated. Um, okay, first thing we need to do here is you press E on this computer to open up your crafting bench. You have a 2x2 two two area. Uh, you can put different things in uh, different orders and spots to create different items. Uh, basically I'll show you just the basic things here you get the wood this is raw wood uh, when you put it in it's gonna turn into planks I'm only gonna do I'm gonna do it probably 20 now and uh, the planks are used can be crafted in the uh, other things like first thing we need to do is get a workbench now if you if you right click it's gonna half the stack so whatever it is it's gonna be half if you right click if you left click it's just gonna select it so here, if you put four, one, you can put one in each block, and it's going to give you a crafting bench. Okay. If you press E to back out again, it'll just uh, throw it out there. It's quicker to pick up, actually. All right, then you place, you right-click to place the block, right-click to open the crafting bench. All right, so now we're going to make some sticks. So that's just two planks on top of each other. Let's make 12. Uh, we're going to need some pickaxe so you kind of do is shape it out I usually just make one wooden pickaxe because to be honest with you 
as soon as you find stone, there, it just the woods garbage. So we just made a pick. Now we now we need to look for wood and coal. Coal is our next big thing because it's going to be getting dark soon, and uh, bad things come out in the dark. So let's get out of here. Sometimes you can find uh, coal that's exposed. Just usually you want to look for mountainous regions, but this is the thing. In this new snapshot, they put the jungles in, and you can't really find any kind of mountain areas in the jungle. So then how the heck are we going to get coal then? The only way to really do that is if you... Oh, wow, look at this. Free food. I don't know what happened there. That's weird. All right, but... uh. Anyway, there's a bunch of trees around, so you always have wood. You can actually make charcoal out of wood. So, like, if all else fails, you really can't uh, get to a certain area to get charcoal before it gets dark. I mean, I'm sorry, coal before it gets dark. You can make charcoal out of the wood. Uh, not the planks, but the actual raw timber. Uh, I see some stone here. Let's... Oh, look, there's a new, there's a new uh, spawn. It's an ocelot here. If you give it, uh, I believe you give it uh, rotten meat or something, and you can tame it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, well, the sun's gonna set pretty soon. I don't even see the sun. Is that the sun? It's middle of the day. Let's just uh, eh, this is pretty nice. I, I'm just gonna start right here. Uh, let's make a shovel as well. Well, actually, let's just get let's get all this first, cause you're not supposed to use this on there, actually. But I really just want to get stone so I can make some more tools here. If you look on the left, uh, where the where your pickaxe is, the green bar. Now, every time you take some blocks away, it's gonna diminish. So obviously, the the better the tools that you have are higher quality or that you use the longer and more box that you can actually uh, break well I, I'd say I'm going to set up right here this is not the best area but I don't really care just somewhere to set up so I don't die and hopefully we can dig down in time to find coal hopefully we'll find coal when we do this so I just like to tunnel in for a little while here and then uh, branch out even like this uh, I'm going to use the pickaxe I don't want to use it all the way it's, I'm just going to as soon as I can uh, get a place to put down my crafting table here alright so now I mean, the stone pickaxe you just do the same thing but with stone and these actually last a pretty good amount of time uh, like a shovel a shovel is made you just shape it pretty much uh, yeah, th these last for a good while. But uh, I'm pretty much just want to clear area out, and uh, I haven't found any coal yet. It's not cool. Like I said, if we absolutely have to, we'll make some out of the wood. So I just want to get an area here. It's not claustrophobic. All right, um, let's see how much wood I got here. All right, I can make a door. Uh, we want to make a door to keep mobs from coming in. Uh, also, on this snapshot, they also, uh, zombies can actually break down wooden doors now, so you have to be kind of careful on, uh, you know, like, if you're in the house. Pretty much just want to close yourself in. Uh, you can see it's getting dark now. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to make charcoal. Um, first, you got to make a furnace, which is cobblestone all the way around, just like that. Makes a furnace. 
right click to set it and then uh so you can actually I think we can just burn the wood uh let's take this let's see I think you could burn you could burn planks or sticks let's burn sticks let's see what happens All right, so we did make charcoal, and uh, I probably will use let's see this planks about actually for last longer. See, as long as we have one uh, one or two pieces of coal, we can make torches. Torches light the light the area up, keep mobs from coming out. We're pretty much safe now that we're in the building. Uh, so, and we all somehow or another we found chicken. But uh, anyway, you don't have to watch that. By the way, it'll it'll do it itself. So to make a torch, let's go ahead and uh, make some more planks. I don't really need a lot of sticks. Probably gonna have to get more wood. Uh, more sticks, and then stick with the coal or charcoal on top will make you to four torches with each one. So hold shift. Hold down shift and click and it'll make all of the available ones that you have. So pretty much you want to light up every area. Oh, my mouse is fucking up here. What the fuck? What the heck? There we go. That was weird. Alright, see how it lights the area? This, this is fine right now. lagging all right you hear things walking around outside if you hear something footsteps but nobody's making any noise then you know for sure it's a creeper so a creeper will blow your ass up so let's watch the hell out all right i'm just gonna start burrowing through here again until i can find some more there's coal right there First things first. It starts out kind of slow. Once you start getting different things and building up your area, it's, it gets really fun, actually. So, um, well, that's a big one. You kind of want to get as much coal as you can at the beginning. Uh, next thing we're going to be doing is looking for iron. Now, if you didn't luck up like I did and didn't find food, then you could actually uh, get the seeds or whatever and make a farm, which I can show in a later episode, uh, which I will actually. Um, also, the uh, you can fish. So eventually, if you happen to see a spider and you kill a spider and get string, you need three string. And you can make a fishing pole and fish in any water or source. Uh, I believe that's bigger than a certain area, like you know, a man, like a natural lake. Um, so yeah, you could use that as a steady supply of food. Also, you could breed animals. Uh, I'll do a tutorial on all this, like where we make a farm, uh, so you can have all that stuff. I usually like closing all this other crap back in that I don't use, because, uh, it just gives a reason for things to spawn. It doesn't look too pretty, because when the stone is broken, it, uh, this makes regular cobblestone, so it doesn't really look good, but whatever. But, uh, alright, let's... I'll go ahead and cook my food, too. You always want to cook the food that you have. Um, because if you do, you need to eat. This This is your hunger bar. I'll show you. Um, down here where the little drumsticks are, that's your hunger bar. And, uh, when, when that's fully filled, you will regenerate health. And if it's down even a half or to one, you don't regenerate any health. So, in, you, you must stay full in order to keep your health regenerated. Now, if you get all the way down, you get hunger. And hung, what hunger will do is cause you to lose health all the way up to, I believe, half of a heart. You won't actually die from it in single player, but, um... It's, it's good to make sure you always have food on you. So now you see it cooked. It made cooked chicken. And uh, we just wasted that coal, but whatever. Alright. 
So usually what I like to do next, we got our food situated. Uh, we got the st enough stone, and I believe we're going to need some more wood here in a minute. But uh, before I do that, um, we're going to uh, dig a mine. That's the first thing I like to do. I mean, it is called Minecraft, so start a mine. Uh, we want to go all the way down uh, to bedrock, which is the bottom layer. You can't mine through bedrock. So we will get on that in a second. And uh, usually I like to do a three by three, but uh, I don't have enough uh, wood right now, as you can see. So you, I usually like to make ladders. Ladders uh, are made from sticks. I guess we can make as many as we can right now. Yeah, it's not going to be a lot. 45. Alright, let's see. So to make a ladder, you just shape the ladder out. So it makes like a H, kind of. Let's make as many as we can. Just kind of definitely need more, uh, more wood. Let's see. And I'm going to save. Okay. So 10, we'll go down 10, and then uh, just to get the start, and I'll show you the basic design. It is nighttime out, so there's no reason for us to be going outside right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make another pick just in case because I'm pretty sure this one will break. This is good too because it gives you a lot of good cobblestone so you could uh, actually, you know, make something bigger. Make like a lot of stuff. But, uh, alright, so, um, alright, we got enough torches. See how the hunger bar is halfway now? That means if I f hurt myself, it will not regenerate health. Okay, so what I like to do is to go down in a 3x3 three three area. So, number one rule, never mine directly, like, straight below you or straight above you in Minecraft. Like, don't do this. Because there could be a cave under you, you just fall down, and you're dead, and you lose everything. Alright, so we have a 3x3 three three here. Also, what I like to do here is hammer in a... Uh, like an indention here and come down. So you're actually mining three by three plus one. But I like this because you can put your ladders there. See, so, and you can just come right out. So only thing is we're limited about from the ladders how far we can go down. But uh, what's good is you you want to go down to bedrock because that's where the best ore is. Now, and usually what I'll do is I'll come up. Uh, five or six levels above the bedrock and uh, that's usually where you're gonna find the best ore at so what I like to do is a uh, branch mine and I'll do a tutorial on branch mining that way you can uh, get the most out of the mining so you're not wasting your you know your tools and or your time for that matter but uh You always want to use the right tool for the job. You use the shovel for the for dirt and gravel. Um, so you shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done that. And always keep it well lit, uh, so nothing spawns. So it's not that good of a lighting, but it'll do for now. Four more levels we can go. And what's really weird is when you get low, when you get down to the bedrock, all the way down, um, and you see dirt and gravel, usually that's indicative of some kind of ore near there. So you, you always want to try to get rid of that as much as you can. See how it has a lip on it? That way you don't slip off. I, I like that. So. And 
and we can go down one more level. This hasn't been very interesting here, so. I think we can go one more actually. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna end the episode right here, and uh, we'll continue. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe, watch, let me know what you want me to do. If you want anything special you want me to try to make or accomplish. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll pick up here on the next one. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.